Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. I know you all have been waiting on this video. This is the brand new Apre Gel X Natural Stiletto Long in the Vivid Color. Alright, so I know a lot of you have many questions, so I'm going to try and answer every one of them in this video. One of the questions is, how much are these tips? Well, they do vary. The ones that I got, they're the Natural Stiletto Long, are $43.73. Um, how many tips come in each box? You get 500 in this box. How many colors come in each, and how many colors of each color? You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. That I do not know. I have not actually taken them out and counted them but it looks like quite a bit all right there are 11 purples and i think there are 10 pinks so they average from 11 to 10 per color and like i said there's 500 pieces it does come in this very nice clear box while the other ones are the black box i know you guys have saw the other upre boxes these are clear i really like that about these the only thing that they do not come with is the zero zero size. Why? I do not know, guys. I do not know. There are ten sizes. Zero to, I think it's, yeah, zero to nine. Um, here is the zero zero spot. Unfortunately, it is empty because I know there are ladies with larger thumbnails that do need bigger sizes. Uh, maybe that would be taken into suggestion for the uh, Prey Company. Um, oh, it says, okay, it says there are five colors, so let me back up. All right, so in these tips, you're getting five different colors, just like with the base color set. This is called the vivid color set. You're getting a pink, a purple, a brown, a teal, and a black. And they are all jelly, so they're not opaque colors. They are very clear, translucent, okay? That way they will still adhere very nicely. You won't have any issues with the gel curing because they are still translucent. Do they come in sculpted? Yes, they do. Are mine sculpted? No, they are not. These are just the natural ones because I have a flat nail plate. If you have a more curve to your nail plate, you may want to try the sculpted. So again, these are the Natural Stiletto Long, $43.73. I am going to apply all five colors onto Handy Mandy here. These are um, a collaboration with Yoko Matsuda. I may have said that wrong, but that is her name. And they did collaborate with her to come up with these gel tips. They are 100% gel, in case you were wondering. Um, I think I've answered those questions, so let's go ahead and jump into the application. We will be using all the Apre items to do this. I have already buffed the surface shine off of her nails. We have the Apre dehydrator, the Apre primer. We have the Apre Extend Gel, and we have the Apre No Wipe Gel Top Coat. Alright guys, I have went ahead and sized the tips. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do, of course, push back your cuticles, get, get everything nice and clean. Go ahead and buff the surface shine. Put on your dehydrator. Dehydrate those nails. Go in with the Apre primer. You're going to put one to two coats depending on your preference of the primer. I'm just going to do one coat of the primer from your cuticle to your free edge on the entire nail. I 
All right. So the next step, we are going to prep the tips with pure acetone. I get a brush. You're going to dunk it into the acetone and you're going to etch the underside with the acetone and you'll be able to feel that gel break down and you actually can also see it. See how it's not as shiny as the tip? Okay, so you're going to do that with all five nails, all ten nails, whichever, whatever you're putting on. Make sure the etching goes all the way to the client or your free edge of your nat natural nail plate. That way you don't have any lifting. You're going to etch it just like so. If you go up a little further, it's not an issue. This actually doesn't take as long as if you were to use your e-file. This takes very little time. I am going to be adding a step that the Opre uh, YouTube channel does now also. And that is after you have etched them with the acetone, you're going to go ahead and take your primer. I go ahead and take your Opre primer or whatever primer you have on hand and you're going to go ahead and put a thin coat of that on the inside also where you etched the surface. Okay, so I'm going to do that with all of the nails. One thin coat. This is going to give it better adhesion. Here is um, the set that I've recently done. This is this set has been on now four weeks. I have the Apre Stilettos and the Enel Couture, Enel Couture Coffins. Four weeks, guys, so far. No lifting, no chipping, no cracking, no split, no breakage. Now that you have the primer on the inside of the nail, it's ready to apply. So take your extend gel or any other gel of your preference make sure you have your flashlight ready okay you're gonna take the extend gel and just wipe it into that cuticle area there I'm going to turn my light on and get it ready. You're going to go from cuticle to free edge, pushing all the air bubbles out. Once you get to the free edge, you're going to cure that. Now I will say the problem, I did run into a problem because my hand has larger thumbs than I do, this size is a little small as you can see here. It is a, a little, no I'm sorry, it's a size zero. This size zero is actually a little small for this thumb. So that is why I suggest the Opre company come out with the zero zeros because the size one may be too small for your hands. And if that's the case, guys, do not order them because they are not going to be, they're not going to fit. Okay. But I just wanted to show you very wide nail beds. She has very wide nail beds for her thumb. So that is why this one did not fit all the way. But I wanted to put it on to show you guys that you may run into that problem if you do have wider thumbnails. All right. But all the other nails seem to fit just, just fine. I'm going to do that one more time. We're going to go in with the black one. I didn't have any problems adhering the thumbnail. It was just that it is a little too small for the thumb. 
and I did use the biggest size that they had. All right, so now again, you're going to place the gel in there. Just like so. Go from cuticle to free edge. Make sure you have your light handy and ready. Forty-five degrees into the cuticle. Go all the way up to the free edge and cure. Now this one fit perfect. See how nice that one looks? That one looks really good. Now, that may not be the case with all of the shapes. The, the coffins may be bigger than the stiletto shape. I'm not sure. All right, here we go again. I'm going to turn my lamp on, have it ready. At a 45 degree angle into the cuticle push all the air bubbles out. You do not have to press too hard. Go all the way to the free edge and cure. And that one went on very nice. There we have it. Okay. Two more to go. And then I'll show you what to do after that. Okay, again, I'm going to put my product at the base. I'm going to go from side to side a little bit, just like so. Turn the light on. Go in to the cuticle, 45 degrees. Press down to the free edge and cure. And it doesn't take long. Beautiful. One more time. Now, a lot of people also ask me, do you have to use the Extend Gel? No. You can use other um, you can use a builder gel, you can use a gem gel. All right, here we go again with the pinky, 45 degrees, all the way to the free edge, and cure. All right, so again, here is all of the colors kind of saddened by this one just because it did not fit completely but these look very nice they came out really great all right I'm gonna go ahead and do a full 60 second cure now I will show you guys while that's curing the biggest size is the zero and that's the one that we had on the thumbnail and as you can see, I have pretty, pretty small nail, uh, nail beds, pretty small. And that zero just fits my thumb. So it's actually the perfect size for my thumb. So I would say, you know, the more that I was playing around with these, the more I noticed that a lot of the small ones in here are not going to fit me at all. Actually, too small. So I would definitely suggest the Apre company making these bigger. Definitely. So now that we have all of the nails fully cured, the next thing you're going to do is take your e-file. And I'm going to switch the bit to a sanding band. I think this is a 240 grit sanding band. And what I'm going to do is we're going to turn it on to about a 9. 
and you're going to rough up right at the cuticle area. Okay, and then you can take it and you can go ahead and rough up the rest of the nail if you'd like. Just be very careful. Don't put it on too high of a speed. So again, what you would do with your sanding band is you would just take it and just go around your side wall into the cuticle. Go ahead and buff the surface. I do not have this on very high, so it's not going to take off any of the nail. It's just going to roughen up that surface, get it ready for a design or top coat, whatever. Okay. All right, once you have that done, you can go in with your 100-180 grit file and just shape up those sidewalls. I was trying to shape it up so it doesn't look so bad over here. There we go. That looks a lot better. Okay, you're going to do that with all your nails. Hers look pretty good, so we don't have to do a whole lot of filing. We're going to just take a brush and dust off any excess dust. I'm going to take a lint-free wipe with some pure acetone. And I'm just going to wipe those nails clean. Don't saturate it with the with the um, acetone, guys, because it will break down the nails. I'm going to take my Model 1's glitter polish. This is number 1118. It actually came in a kit. And I have had it for a very, very long time. But look how beautiful that is. Just to give it a little more bling bling. Look how gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Oh, it really looks pretty on this black. Look at that, you guys.
I did miss, um, I did miss a step, you guys, and we're going to go and do that here in just a second. And I will show you what that step is. It is just another way to add more strength. But just check out those beautiful, beautiful nails. Look at that. Look how gorgeous. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds. And after you apply these nails before filing them or anything that, like that, go ahead and take any no wipe top coat that you have. And you're going to go under the nail with the no wipe top coat. Okay. And you're just going to fill in any gaps that you may have, or you're just going to give it a little more added strength with this top coat. All right, and then after you have the top coat under there, go ahead and cure it for 60 seconds. All right, after your top coat's cured on the underside of the nails, I'm going to use my Madame Glam's Velvet Matte Top Coat. And we're going to mat a couple of these nails. We're going to do this middle one. And the pinky. And then I'm going to take the Apray No Wipe Top Coat and we're going to go ahead and put the top coat on the pointer. Look how gorgeous that is. And on the ring finger. I'm going to add a couple rhinestones and I'm going to do the thumb after all this other is cured. So go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds. All right. If you guys have stayed for this long in the video, I do have a surprise for you guys. I am giving away my Apre Gel X Natural Round Short. You get 500 pieces in 10 different sizes. This does not have the zero zeros, but it does go from zero to nine. I have only um, used these one time, okay? But they are the short ones. I know a lot of you like the shorter nails okay and that is what they look like on the nail okay um, this is a US only giveaway so any of my US subscribers all I want you to do down below is put yes to the short round praise. Uh, because I'm not putting this in the headline. I'm not putting this in the title. Nowhere is it going to say giveaway at all. It is only people that have went this long in my video and watched the entire video from start to finish. I will pick the giveaway winner in a couple weeks. Good luck. And let's continue the video. Alright, so as you can see, we have... These two top coated with a glossy, these two top coated with the matte, and this one of course will be top coated with the glossy, but that is pretty much the finished look. That's it, you guys. And there you go. There is the Vivid Apre nails, how to put them on, everything you need to know about them. If there was something that I did miss let me know in the description box and I will try and answer that for you. Yes, they cure perfectly. You have no issues curing these at all. They look fantastic. The only issue that I had, like you saw at the beginning, 
was that the thumbnail was not big enough for this hand, for her hand. Now she does have bigger thumbs than I do, so the zero is too small for her. All right, but the other ones fit just fine. One other thing I did forget to mention is when you do get these tips, if you do order them, they will have a signature stamp um, they have started stamping their nail tips with their signature logo and that's just one thing I forgot to mention let me show you at the very bottom where it says number one you can kind of see it right there it has the uh, Prey logo and then it has the number of the tip. And when you put that on the nail, it does go away. You do not see it after they have been applied. You do not see the logo at all. It's completely gone. Okay? Alright guys, so that was the end of this video. Let me know what you think about these um, tips down below. Let me know what your, your opinions are on it. Up next, we will be doing the base colored tips by the uh, Prey Company. These are in the coffin style. So stay tuned for that. And for all of you who stayed to watch the entire video, I do appreciate it. I know it was a long one. But I did want to specify and make sure that I had all of the um, specifications and all that answered for you guys so you didn't have any other questions. Uh, but if I did miss something, I do apologize. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give it a big thumbs up if you would. Subscribe if you are new. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you know when I upload and you can get shouted out in one of my future videos. With that said, hope you all have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye.